question came up on ClassicZCars.com about uh, grounding. And so just wanted to give some examples of what you should see when you are checking how well the car is grounded to various points. So the first thing is we want to use an ohm meter. And as soon as it stops autofocusing, you can see you want to set it on about the lowest scale. I don't like using the continuity, the buzzer here because we're concerned more about getting a correct number, not, not hearing the buzz, okay? So 200 ohms is the lowest numeric scale here. And sorry, it's not going to focus very well. You can see there is reading zero ohms. So that's a good reading. Just to show you where I'm taking the reading from, it's going from the shock tower over here to the base of the distributor. Now what this is saying is that from the body to the engine we have continuity so the grounding looks good there. Okay so now I've moved the ohm meter over and it's one probe is on the battery and the other probe is on the shock tower. Now this is telling us how well we have connected ground to the battery and it's fluctuating between 0 and 0 0.1 so it's really not much any resistance there either. <clears throat> so that would be essentially considering no resistance and that would give us good contact. If you're seeing values on the other side of the decimal place, then the first thing you want to do is make sure you're holding the probes of the meter firmly against the surface that you're testing. Like, uh, hopefully I can kind of recreate that here. Just trying to, uh, yeah, so it's not quite as well connected. The thing is with the spring clamp, it's gonna show pretty well play around with it while showing you with the meter. So here I'm just kind of just pressing it against there, not very firmly. And you can see the readings are fluctuating a lot. Now that indicates not having good mechanical contact. There's again, I don't have the spring clamp tightly and you can see resistance there. So let's uh, give you a view there. So what I'm going to do is get it more on the meat of the clamp there. So you can see it is firmly clamped against it. And our reading has gone back to fluctuating between 0.1 ohms and 0 ohms. So you can see mechanical contact with your testing surfaces are very important for resistance readings.